what do you think of the whole manipulation of candidates to make them fit a shoe that maybe is not, it's like a Cinderella with a big feet or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you know, part of, part of what the film is really highlighting is that in order to uh, be elected, you have to win. And, uh, you know, I think that some people want to win at all costs. Um, and, and that's part of what Sandra Bullock's character is realizing over the course of the film is like, the, you know, it, it should Not you about winning? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. In uh, I th I found your character very funny because uh, <laughs> he does things that are a little out of it. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, he's not the typical conventional no, no, political no, he, consultant. He, he's definitely <laughs> sort of a fish out of water. I mean, he's an ad advertising marketing guy. So you know, when he gets down there, he's kind of like, oh, this is going to be a walk in the park and. I think all the elements that are thrown at him th through being in Bolivia is kind of like, wow, I, 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 this is not as easy as I thought it was, but, you know. And I, I, he's constantly struggling, too, to keep up with Sandra's character. And uh, your Spanish in the movie is fantastic. Thank you. Was it phonetic? ¿O hablas un poco? <laughs> sí, hablo un poco. Hablabas muy bien y traducías a toda esa gente en la reunión. Wow, wow, wow. No, you you were very good. You don't have to. Yeah. I grew up speaking Spanish, so sí. it was a joy for me to get to use it a little. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I love the story because uh, I think, uh, you know, it's also a story about conflict between two two big, big cheeses, if you want, consultants, Candy and Calamity Jane. Mm -hmm. So it's a personal battle, do you think? And they're using this platform to to win whatever, or to revenge, or I feel, or you don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. There's the definitely wrong that. Question. It's the wrong question. No, no, it's a good no, question. No, it's a good question. <laughs> but the film seems more so. It's about you know someone who loses sight of what her overall objective was. You know what I mean? Or you know, and I think that that's something that's very relatable to people because we all get into industries, you know, whatever the profession is, and. To kind of forget why you, when you were 16, 15, 18, 20, why you, why you wanted to do that. And it really becomes about trying to get ahead at the company or get ahead in life. And this, this is a story that she loses sight of, of what's, what's good and what's right. And, and, and it's all about winning for her. And I think that that's kind of the transition, the change that we see. Yeah. Did you see the, this country and many others are going to serious elections soon. Mm -hmm. And there are the Republicans and the Democrats. Uh, uh, do you think younger generations, I don't mean people in their 20s, but the new 18 years old uh, mm -hmm. who have to vote, will they vote, uh, will they go out or just that they just don't care and they are playing video games? I really hope that they do turn out because I think that uh, they should, you know, I remember when I turned 18, what in how incredibly excited I was to be able to vote. Um, I hadn't been able to vote in the uh, first Bush election. So to be able to cast my vote in the second one felt really important to me. Um, and I think, you know, not to cast any aspersions on older people, but I'm constantly actually amazed by the incredible open-mindedness of the generations that are coming up. I just worked with a 14-year-old on this movie, and this other movie, and she was telling me all, all, the way that her generation thinks about gender and about sexuality. And it's so exciting to me to think about a world in which um, people are really looking at their peers as equals. Um, so I hope that they make their voices heard. You know, in my daily life, I confront the, this, I, I have the satisfaction of being part of a group of people who they don't care what your sexual orientation is or your ethnic origin or your accent, we're just people. Mm. And I think that's going to be reflected, I hope, in the next election. So I, we're really changing. Yeah. Are you changing too or you're stuck? <laughs> it's a joke. Scoot's so it's stuck in his ways. Are you stuck? Are you like like the character? Like, I don't know what. <laughs> more, more so oblivious. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. oblivious. More so oblivious. Yeah. You're aloof, what's going yeah. on? I'm yeah. lost. Yeah. So he has to tell me. He's just he's... over there taking care of his baby. He's too blessed yeah. out to notice uh, anything that's, that's going great. on. That's great. So you, yeah.